from sunny but chilly Southern California. It's the Suzanne Summer Show. Yay! <laughs> and it's Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. And I'm uh, always productive. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. Happy Sunday. Yeah, gosh. Who knew? You know what? You know, busy weekend, huh? No kidding. Wow. Yeah, what a weekend. What were you saying, Al? I was saying with the Thigh Master. Yeah. You know, when, when you, you write a book and we spend a week in New York and we go from studio to studio right. promoting the book, yeah. I'd say a third to half of all the receptionists greet us by pulling a thigh master out from <laughs> under their desk. Under their desk, like I'm right. doing right now. <laughs> right. And when I asked one of them if I could uh, check her thighs, Oh, yeah, that yeah. goes over really well. In that's right. Yeah, the I can. Politically correct climate of today. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I, I, you know, I, I said, I'm not coming on to you. I just yeah. figure you if you have that thing, that. You, think that you, you know, maybe you do a nice testimony. No. I don't keep doing that. I don't do that. What, you're just saying you're doing it. No, I did it. I did it. Yeah, I just wanted to see your thighs. Oh, that's I just all. want to see your thighs. Yeah. Oh, oh that, that goes over really well. It's creepy, Al. Yeah, it's, it's creepy. Okay. Kind of creep factor. Okay, okay. He thinks because he's in his 80s now that he can get away with everything. I can, yeah. Wow. It's true. I'm just putting on a little of our... Doreen Williams, hi from Nova Scotia. Very hot. We love hi, Nova Doreen. Scotia. Love Nova anyway, Scotia. Indian so, Cove. What? Plus our friend Charlie Ryer, lobster fisherman with a pound. Yeah. And we fly into Halifax, and I'd call him and say, Charlie, put on a couple of three-pounders. We'll see you in an hour. And he'd be cracking the three-pounders when we arrived. Yeah. He'd hand us a bottle of ice-cold white wine. We'd sit on the rocks by the water yeah. and eat the most delicious. Such a romantic. The most delicious I know, the lobster. Most, yeah. Well, anything that fresh in any form is always great. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, Caroline, you'll find this interesting, and all of you out there will find this interesting. We just came down to the bar. We're not having tequila. We're drink, drinking water. And um, uh, we had a visitor here at the bar. Yeah. Uh, a big horn sheep wanted to join the show. Like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, really? like, I know. How, how close? Here. Here, right here. Here. Like right at the bar? Yeah. yeah and, and, then, and then when we came... Uh, the, he decided to go over to the pool, and um, wow. and then now we just saw him go over the that rock outcropping on the other side of the kitchen and down the hill there. So he's just out doing his morning rounds, and we he saw heard, a bunch of he behind our There was a huge percentage off plus free shipping, and you ran to the sale. I know. How about this? You can hold yours up. I will. There it is. Cyber Monday deals. Big deals. Yeah. 25% yeah. off plus free shipping. Use the promo code CYBERSALE. Yep. And 30% off orders over $100 plus free shipping. Use a slightly different promo code CYBER30. So the first one's CYBERSALE. The second one's so CYBER30 at SuzanneSummers.com. You get 30% off and free shipping. That's good. That's right. That's real good. Yeah, it's amazing. We, we don't do free shipping a lot, so this yeah. is... You know, and, and now it's like some of you were texting me saying, you know, it's, you know, I, I was looking for a bundle with the makeup in it. Today's the day to get your makeup. Um, or if, you know, if there was a bundle, you can put your own bundle together now and get right. the big percentage, get that 30% right. off, plus free shipping. It's pretty great. Look at this lipstick. Mm. Is that Berry Pop? Yeah, this is Berry Pop. That's my favorite lipstick. Well, I like, for me. Kissable like, lips. I, I, I. <laughs> I like berry pop and I like caramelized peach for me, for my coloring. Yeah. And I, I love it because it, it's very healing. Uh, here in the desert, my lips get so dry. I'm constantly having to put our, you know, um, I, it's not chapstick. What are we calling our, our, our lip balm? Lip balm. Do we have lip that balm. today? We have everything today. The okay. entire site. So I know you go lip balm, lip balm, you didn't get that at the grocery store, no you can't. Our lip balm is so great, and and I shouldn't have to say this, 
but there's no petroleum, i.e. gasoline in it. How about that? Does it, you know what? Here, here's an interesting question yeah. for you. Yeah. It's from Albert Cernaga. Cernaga hey, Albert. Cernaga. Uh -huh. How is being married to your husband who's older than you? Uh -huh. That's the question. Oh, I think, um, I think it's really one of the things that makes our marriage work. He's got 10 years of wisdom on me. And um, we both have our own strengths. Uh, and we don't get in one another's way. And we compliment one another. Uh, in every way, and uh, I love that you're 10 years older. I've always loved Well, that. me too. And also, you know, uh, I think I matured slower than you, yeah. and so the 10 years I have on you makes me equal I... relative to our maturity. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, whatever it is, Albert, it really works. And I often call Alan Albert. It's, That's it's right. Not his name. Was that, that was never your name, was it? Well, it was for a little while. It was, and then you changed uh, there, there, it. There were, there were a bunch of different names uh -huh. that people called me. Yeah. Oh, I know. They yeah. still do. By the way, Annette Albi Albino Avila says you were looking extra gorgeous today. Thank you. Oh, oh you meant Suzanne. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Nice. Well, it's daylight. Yeah. You're seeing the daylight. And um, I have all Suzanne Summers makeup on today. And um, uh, it's turned out rather nicely, so thank you very much for the compliment. Yeah. Clearly, the bighorn sheep liked it, too. And Patty, <laughs> Patty <laughs> Minor... Yeah. <laughs> Patty Minor Pro... Hold on, where is that? What? Patty Minor Pro something? Yeah. Damn, I lose, I lose it. You look amazing, and your hair looks great. Oh, thank you. Okay. I washed it. Yeah, how did, my, how did my hair look? I washed my hair today. Your hair looks real good. Yeah, thank it's you. So wow. Yeah, hey, Alan Hamill is needing some attention today. So, yeah. Everyone, write yeah. in and yeah. tell Alan how great he is. <laughs> if you're Canadian or if you're going to say something nice about Alan, let's just get that out there and yeah. then we're going to talk about Cyber Monday. Yeah. yeah, how about, you know. Everyone, it's an Alan Hamill appreciation day. Go. That's true. Come on over here, Alan. Let them okay. appreciate you. Okay. Yeah. 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 How'd you pick up on that, Caroline? <laughs> Okay, so this was this was not planned. Okay, it wasn't my idea. No, okay. no. This was uh, our. Okay, Mama says you have a sexy voice. Wow. Here we go. Okay. Just pile it on. We're just gonna we're just gonna load up Alan. Okay. Just fill yeah. This cup. Yeah. Alan, yep. Yeah, uh, Susan, Alan, you have a great sounding voice. Lynn, you are always great, Alan. God bless Alan, said Freddie. Love you, Al. You're awesome, <laughs> Lisa. I love your voice, big Al. Wow. Said Jill. <laughs> Wow. Al love, Al love, Al love. That's our friend, Vicky. <laughs> wow. I was going to stay here all day. Looking very dapper. Wow. That's Lisa. Holly said, Al, you look great. Wow, Julie thank you. said, Alan looks great. Thank you. Look at this. Wow. Blue is a great color on you, Alan. That's yeah. Jennifer. Thank you. Kathy said, Alan looks great today. You're both so beautiful. <laughs> Mary Beth said, you look hot in blue. Lynn I said, Al, oh, you look great in blue. Awesome, Al. Love Al's curly hair. Looking good, Al. That's crazy. <laughs> we love you, Alan, said Jane. Especially you talking of the liquid oxygen. <laughs> Chloe, Al, I just love to hear your voice with all the lights off. Oh. <laughs> Different yeah, get that get that girl's name <laughs> and number. Elisa, lots of love for Al. Chris wow. Jeff says Al is hot. How wow. you feeling, Al? Uh, okay. I can't take it anymore. Enough? I can't okay. take it anymore. All right. Maybe later. Okay, well, maybe later. I'll be around. I'll All be right. Around. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You didn't beg or anything. Or a little. A little begging. Yeah. Yeah. No, the only time I beg is when we're naked. <laughs> I beg and cry. Yeah. Ryan right. said you have a great smile. Thank you. <laughs> Well, they've rarely seen your eyes because you always, you know, you have that light sensitivity, so you always have yep. uh, sunglasses on. I see them in the morning. Yeah. He doesn't wear sunglasses to bed. Yeah. Well, sometimes. You have. Yeah. You have, yeah. So anyway, um, so far, uh, well, I did the Thigh Master going down the funicular yesterday. That was kind of fun. 
I keep the Thigh Masters in different stations around the house because um, when, you know, when, when, you, when, when it's there, you go, oh, maybe I'll do 50. And it makes a big difference. And for me, um, you know, just coming out of, of my uh, injury, uh, this is a real good movement for me. So anyway, Thigh Master, I I'm, love our... I'm so thrilled to see you using that so easily. Bruce and I were like, wow, look at her. She's like, your leg is so much better. So it's much awesome. better. So much better. Yeah. Yeah. So Kay, Kay Beth Rami says, you two are so blessed having each other. We are. You know what? She's right. Yep. Yep. Really? Yeah. It is a blessing. You got me through this whole thing by your tender, loving care. Well, I didn't want to have a nurse here to begin with. No. Okay. That would have seriously impacted our relationship. Yes. And I thought, what, what can I not do? That a nurse can do. You do it better. And I do it better. Yeah. 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 yeah he tucks me in at night. It's kind of, kind of nice. And I, I, whenever I can do anything on my own, I do it. Um, but you forgot. Heard, you forgot one thing. What? I tuck you in, and then what? You kiss me goodnight. That's correct. A good kiss. Yeah. Uh, it's lovely. One of those long ones. It's lovely. Yeah. 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 Um, anyway, I'm doing most everything on my own now, um, and I want to, uh, but I let him do a few big things, like the tucking in part is nice. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't like to be tucked yeah. in? Yeah. Anyway, so there's so many a lot things. Of, you know, so, oh, sorry, Suzanne, a lot of you were asking about um, shipping. We are guaranteeing um, delivery by Christmas if you order before December 15th. So if you're doing your holiday shopping at SuzanneSummers.com, we highly recommend you do it today because we have these great discounts. And um, yes, yeah. the shipping will deliver before Christmas. Yeah. So there are a couple of people who can't go to the site till they finish work today. Uh, how, how long is this sale going on, Caroline? It's all day. It's oh, okay. all day. Cyber Monday all day. Yeah. Okay. We won't run out of stuff, will we, or will we? Oh, we sold so much this weekend. Wait, like, jump in and grab what you can. Oh, because, really? I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, we had a... You know, people wait for these big discounts, yeah. um, and people wait for free shipping. The shipping is for the continental United States, so if you are, in, you know, in Hawaii or Alaska or in other states, I'm sorry, we can't cover the shipping there um, but it is it's a big discount so great yeah, I, great. I, w I was uh, getting ready for the show and I was aware of all of the products that I used to get ready for the show um, I uh, did the peach exfoliating cleanser that stuff is so great you know you put it on and you let it sit for two minutes we, we used that yesterday and we used it yesterday and yesterday we also had recovery masks. Yep, but that was after we used the uh, the peach exfoliant. Right. And then you like drowned yourself in liquid oxygen. I love know. liquid oxygen. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and I used liquid oxygen this morning. Actually, first go, roll back. The first thing that I used this morning was the Ageless Serum as my conductive fluid with my face master. I do the face master every day. Uh, we say when you buy a face master, you know, like three times a week, but I look so much better when I use it. It's like, it's a non-surgical facelift machine. It just, it just makes me look alive and fresher and my eyes look more wide open. And I, I love the face master. So then I went to a peach exfoliating cleanser. And then I went to... Uh, um, the everyday cleanser to soften it all up. Then I put on the liquid oxygen. And then I put on the bioactive moisturizer. You know what's interesting? My face isn't greasy at all. It's just like soft and um, plumped. It feels plumped up. But it doesn't get greasy it, because it, it absorbs. And then I put on my flawless finish makeup base. I use the dark uh, bronze color, which is strange, I know, for my coloring. But I just like having a slight tan look. 
And then I used the, uh, the concealer pot and I did my highlighting across the cheek and down the nose. And then I used our quad with the four colors with the uh, brush and I did the in here. And then um, I'm out, I, I, I wasn't using our uh, eyebrow eyeliner pencil, but I've been using it and I really like it. And I put the dark line across the, the lid line. And then I used our mascara that has no glue in it. I shouldn't have to say that either. And then um, we don't have a lip pencil that I like. So I use MAC Spice, but then I fill in with today with the Berry Pop. Or I would use the Caramelized Peach. Did I use that? Oh, oh, and then I use Caramelized Peach Blush. Did I use that? Oh, and then our, uh, the, uh, I'd use a de Desert Shimmer to do the shading, like around here. And then I used our uh, matte powder. That's all it takes to make me look good. <laughs> well, I, I, I have an exciting announcement. What? Hot off the press. The gold shimmer eyeshadow quad is back in stock. Oh, good. Oh, I'm so, so glad. I, I will so I'll have one sent to you. Oh, good. Um, now, I have one that has a little left over, and I put some right in the center of the lid. You put it, you know, I mean, you can put it all over the whole lid, but I just put it, like, right in the center to catch the light. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm so glad. That's so great. I know. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. So, Melinda Hills wants to know, when are you getting the cookbook back? I think it's it's there, right, Caroline? Isn't um, I'm it? I'm not sure what cookbook she's talking about. Probably the recipe bible. Oh yeah, I think we still have more. I'll find out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Here's the big. Yes, but but again, reminder: um, if you want to hold up that sign, Alan. Yep. Don't forget your promo codes. Everything on the site is twenty five percent off and free shipping. And if you go over a hundred dollars, it's thirty percent off. So Alan's going to show you those promo codes. Yep. They're looking at it. Regularly throughout the hour. So um, we had a leftover Thanksgiving dinner for dinner last night. It was good. So good. It was so good. Do you know, we didn't even have turkey. We didn't need it. No. We the, had a the lot of, of the dressing. Stuffing. Yeah, because it's all sausage. And stuffing potatoes. and the, uh, the... Leftover mashed potatoes. That was incredible. The gravy. And the gravy. The gravy, plus the uh, cranberry, cranberry sauce. sauce was so good. And I could have eaten the entire pot. Do you like pot. the Brussels sprouts that way? Even though you're not a Brussels sprout they're, they're eater? okay. I'm not a big Brussels sprouts eater. I just think that uh, chopped up like that with the pancetta is so good. Yeah? With the olive oil. It, it was as good as I've ever had them. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I liked mine so much, I, I was wishing I had more. I should have eaten yours. Yeah, Melinda Hill said, yes, the recipe Bible. Okay, oh. Caroline's going to check yeah, to see. Yeah, it is actually, we are out of stock on it. Um, oh, really? And they, um, I'm not sure we're printing more, so we're, we're looking into it. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. That's a, I mean, that's a good book. That was, that was a I very like successful book, those. yeah. A very successful um, book, yeah. Now, people are asking about the shipping company. We're switching the shipping company in January, guys, so... Um, so hang in there with us through the holidays. We we it was too big of a shift to make during the middle of holiday. Um, but like I said, if you order by December fifteenth, you are guaranteed delivery by by Christmas. And it's and shipping is free right now with those promo codes, yeah. which is not something we do very often. And as soon as Cyber Monday is over with, then we go into holiday shopping. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I mean, gosh, did you do any? I did a lot of holiday shopping this weekend. Did you? I did not. I well, did, Bert, I did. like we after Thanksgiving, Bruce kept looking at me saying, "Want to go on a long walk today?" And I was like, "Yeah." And like my head wanted to go on a walk. Yeah. But my body just was not cooperating. Yeah. So yeah. He he ate a salad oh. and went on a walk. Wow. And I ate leftovers and did online shopping. Bruce uh, has such a, a natural tendency to healthy diet and lifestyle, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Vegetables and salads, and he loves exercise. I, isn't he lucky that he loves it? Yeah, well, he wasn't, I mean, like, he contributed for Thanksgiving, but that was many days getting ready, so I think yeah. by the time that Friday hit, it was like, yeah. ah, 
Well, your house looks beautiful with all the lights. So De- Debbie Obushan <laughs> said, can we still buy the Thigh Master? Absolutely. And you can buy it along with the Butt Master. We've named it something else. Um, if you, but you can buy them separate, right, Caroline? Can, I think you can buy them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Separately or together. Yeah. You get them together because it's a great deal. And the butt master. I like to put the thigh master. I don't know about the butt master, but I like to put the thigh master between my thighs. Yeah. Then I put the butt master on my outer thighs. Right. And I, I go in and out, and I'm working the inner and outer all at the same time, and it's really effective. Yeah, that's true. It really, really, really works. Then this dumb little thing is, it works. That's why it's still. I mean, how many years is this? Yeah, since 1989. Wow. Yep, it's, it's it's like Kleenex. You know, you say Thigh Master, and people yeah, say, well, right, right yeah, away. that's Suzanne Summers. I remember we were in, uh, uh, we arrived in Paris, and we're going through customs, and the customs guy is looking at all my paperwork and looking at me and looking at my paperwork and looking at me, and back and forth and thinking, oh, God, what? And he looks at me and he goes, Thigh Master? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so um I thought I messed you. <laughs> That's just great. Yeah, really great. You know, we may have some of those recipe Bibles uh in <clears throat> one of our storehouses. No, we don't. That's what I said. We don't have any of those That's recipe a, Bibles. Yeah. 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 Caroline knows everything. Well, at the tip of my fingers when I'm texting my team, I know how to find out everything. Yeah, yeah. Denise Gilbert wants to know where she goes to order. Well, take a look at the screen. Cyber Monday deals, 25% off plus free shipping. Promo code CYBERSALE, one word. And then go to SuzanneSummers.com. Right, or... Orders over 100, 30% off, and the promo code is a little different. It's not Cyber Sale, it's Cyber 30, both at SuzanneSummers.com. So you made the greatest fried eggs this morning. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Just the way I like them. I know. The yolk soft, but the white all cooked and kind of crispy. Yep. Just the way I like them. Yep. And then you cut the toast into fingers. Yep. And then I dip the toast into the fried egg yolk. Yeah, so good. There are people getting but, hungry right now. People. But I noticed yeah. that um, you uh, let it splatter on your shirt. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, here's something. Yeah, you have got. Oh well. Yeah, it's a, a good shirt. I know how to get it off though. Yeah, I know. You got that secret stuff. Oh, they're really saying stock up on nasal renew. I have been using that this weekend. Me too. Yeah. It's so dry. I know, I know. And there's a lot of pollen in the air because it's been windy. And uh-huh. Alan, Alan needs it, nasal renew usually three times a day because he's got that uh, post-nasal drip. But, man, I've been using it too. That's That's an incredible product. Well, and especially right now, if you feel any kind of a tickle in your throat or your sinuses, you're like, oh, what is that? And, you know, for me, thankfully, it's just been allergies. Right. <laughs> you know, when I take that nasal renew, and um, it really helps. Really helps. Really helps. What it does, it's, it, it um, rebalances, um, I can't, gosh, they won't let us say My- anything. The microbiome in your right. nasal cavity. So right. it's like your your GI tract. You know, you take a probiotic, and then we have our prebiotic, you know, those yummy candies that that um, is like food for the probiotic. And what that does, what you want in your gut is the good guys and the bad guys. You need both. You don't want to wipe out the bad guys completely because there's a little war going on all the time, and the um, the the uh, probiotic really helps with that, and that and we've got that great probiotic, ubiquinol. It's it's dual encapsulation, and so when you look, advanced advanced probiotic. Yeah, that's what my name is that one. Yeah, when you look at the dual encapsulation, it's like you can see through the end of it, and the reason is that that when it goes down, 
the GI tract, it goes into the stomach. Remember, the stomach is under this uh, left breast. It's not here. It's here. Normally, what happens is our hydrochloric acid, which we also sell in supplement, supplement form, because as we get older, we make less and less and less hydrochloric acid. And ours is great because it's got pepsin in it. And so, but, but if you have too much hydrochloric acid in your stomach, it eats through that probiotic. But by having the dual encapsulation, is this like getting too complex? But by having the dual encapsulation, it allows it to go into the stomach and then out into the small intestine, which is what we all think is our stomach, but it's not. It's our small intestinal tract. And then you get the perfect balance of the good guys and the bad guys. And that's what the nasal renew does to the whole uh, nasal cavity. It rebalances and you get enough good guys and bad guys up there to um, deal with the, the drip. It's a drip. It's like I'm, you see, I had to take my leopard and do this, you know. So anyway, so the, uh, look at this, the supplements. They're really great. Our, our supplier is, I think, my feeling, the, the, the best, just the very best. Okay. You pay for the quality. I mean, you definitely chose. Yeah. Um, you you chose a company where you're going to get the purity and the potency, and yeah. that's why when people, if you read the reviews on Suzanne's advanced probiotic intestinal re review, you'll see. And you know, a lot of people out there are thinking they can, you know, have a yogurt that has some, you know, probiotics yeah. in it. But again, what Suzanne's trying to teach you is that you have to get those live probiotics right. into the intestine. So that dual encapsulation, it helps the live bacteria to live longer and survive that journey to the intestines. Right. So, so, <laughs> Melissa, journey. Yes. so Melissa Shine and Ron Olson and 10 other people are watching. I'd like to know, who are those 10 other people? Well, they know. How That's do they know matters. 10 other people are watching? That's all that matters. <laughs> uh, you know, when you were just saying about yogurt, and people think if they eat a lot of yogurt, but... Um, how many times have you gone to the grocery store and you see the trucks pulling up to the back uh, door of the grocery store and they take those pallets out and they sit them in the parking lot? Now, I live here in the desert. It's really hot uh, at certain times of the year. And I think about the perishables and I think often about the yogurt sitting out in the sun. Whatever live bacteria was in there is just getting killed by that. So um, th these... these um, Supplements are great. The other thing that we make that's great is vitamin D3. And it comes in units of 5,000 per unit. Uh, and, um, and we also make zinc picolate. I take 20,000 a day, right? You do. Yeah. You do. Because you're and in your that's, 80s. That's not... Wait, wait. Our, our dosage is, is not that. That's something you'd have to check with your doctor. No, I'm, yeah. I'm excessive. Yeah. I'm excessive. Yeah, but, but we can't say that. No, we can't. I'm, going to, I'm taking it back. Yeah. It's a personal thing. I'm not recommending it. He's just a bad boy. Well, no. I just thought I'd share that. Yeah. It just sort of popped out of my mouth. I didn't plan on saying it. Yeah. But yeah, you got to control your mouth. Yeah, that's a, but that's a very specific um, yeah. piece of information from your doctor based on your specific needs for vitamin D. So right. that's why, you know... Listen, you wouldn't even know to ask your doctor about that if Suzanne and Alan didn't mention, them, mention those things. So, you know, that's a great piece of information for you then to go check that out with your doctor. So and there may be some doctors... So people can go investigate. Yeah, there may be some doctors who say, vitamin D? I've never heard of vitamin D. Yeah, and um, uh, most doctors are afraid of uh, over-prescribing, you know, vitamin D3. We, we do 5,000, and that's... Um, uh, that's usually enough for everybody. It's true, but I'm excessive. Yeah, yeah. So that's why you married me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But we're not recommending to other people being no. that they be excessive. No. So anyway. Yeah. So anyway, we, the reason Caroline and I are talking about the supplements is that sometimes you forget that that's a big part of our company. Also, are the supplements that we sell. And uh, I think, I personally think supplementation is very important uh, in today's world. Our, our food uh, has been so degraded. Our soil has been so degraded. You know, I grow my own food with uh, organic 
soil that we have to bring in and also uh, purified water but I don't think that that's common and they're so they've been messing with our food with you know GMOs and things like that so you want to you want to really take the food you eat seriously. I think it's about the food yep. and um, the minerals and nutrients you get from food. And the body cannot operate without minerals. It just can't. Especially so magnesium. What? Magnesium. magnesium is very important. Yeah, really important. Yeah. What did you guys plant this year? Have you planted? Uh, we've had great difficulty because of the pandemic getting organic plants. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, uh, that's why I haven't been going down to the garden because I can't get a hold of the plants that I normally, normally oh, wow. I'm ready for cutting. Oh, I thought I saw a bighorn sheep, but it was a flower blowing. Yeah, um, yeah, I want to get the cauliflower and the broccoli and the Persian cucumbers and artichokes and all those things that I love to grow. In our new house, there's a piece of land, and I've been thinking and thinking what to plant there. And we're going to plant artichokes, onions, and garlic. Know why? Animals, rabbits, the squirrels, they don't like artichokes, onions, and garlic. So I'm going to leave that outside of the little fenced in area. So that, because I love, I love growing my own onions, garlic, and artichokes. We have, uh, what do they call those things? Not wildcats. Bobcats. Bob, we have bobcats yeah, there. They're not into that. They're carnivores. They want to eat you. That's true. Yeah. 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 You're right. Yeah, The one walked right by us, uh -huh. but couldn't see us because we were inside. Right. And the window was, uh, what do they, pardon? Closed. Well, the window was closed. It was one of those sliding doors. Yeah. But it had a, a, a reflective. Uh-huh. So the animal walked like three feet away, and I didn't see the animal's face. You did, and you said the animal looked angry. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I'm an old Indian, and so we take from our bedroom, we take the golf cart down the back side of the property, and it's a dirt road. And the reason I like to do that is that I like to watch the tracks. And I could tell last night, that the bighorn sheep were out in uh, uh, large numbers, and also uh, at least one bobcat. Their paw prints are very specific, almost like a human hand, not as big, about half the size. And um, it's interesting for these bighorn sheep because they're not carnivores. They, they like to eat trees and plants. And their little droppings are look like rabbit droppings, but it's like a whole pile of it. But little individual rabbit droppings, which I thought is kind of interesting. That's why when we run into these sheep, like being here at the bar or out by the pool, you, you don't feel any fear because they have no interest in eating us. Well, we take, we, we take this little ride at yeah. least twice a day. Are you going to show them? Well, I'm going to try to bring it up here. Okay. And this was at dusk. It was just like, not dark, not light. Was that last night? Uh, yeah. Oh. So yeah. pretty. Yeah. I so you did your Christmas bit. shopping last night, Caroline? You what? You did your Christmas shopping last night? Oh, I started. Yeah. Oh. Black Friday. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I started. So is today the biggest sales day of the year? It is. Wow. Today's it. Okay. To hunker down at your computer end. So if you want to buy me a present, click. This is click, the day. <laughs> and what is it that you're wanting, Alan? Actually, what a question. What do okay. I want? I want more of what we have for the next hundred years. Oh. Yeah. You'll be a hundred. Right, it cut out. My, my phone cut out right when you said, I want, and then I heard nothing. Oh. Well, maybe maybe those people who listen in, you know, maybe they didn't like what I said. Now, basically what I said was I would like my relationship with my wife to go on for another hundred years. So that's, you'll be 184 and that's I'll what be 174. Like. That's right. Yeah. Okay. It's possible. 
Yeah. Possible. Yeah. You know, we're right on the brink. There's so much stuff coming down about yeah. life extension, yeah. extending. How do you feel about artificial intelligence, AI? Uh, I, I don't know a lot about it. Uh -huh. I wrote I, about it in Bombshell. Did I? Uh, I interviewed Ray Kurzweil, famed futurist. I think, yeah, I think I, it was in Bombshell. I think, aren't the porn sites using it? AI? I don't know. I don't go to porn sites. Well, I know that you don't go to porn sites. I don't. But I, one of the things I read was that it's big with porn sites. Oh. Well, when I was interviewing Ray, um, he, I said, I don't know what it is. At, at that time, I had never heard of it. He just gave me the name of a site. And so you go, in, you go into this site, and um, right away, they start asking you a lot of questions. And then doors open. And doors started opening, and I didn't like the feeling. It creeped me out. So I uh, checked out and never went any farther with that. Uh, but they can, with our artificial intelligence, they can absolutely create people. You can create the woman of your dreams or the man of your dreams or whatever your dreams are. You can create it just by answering their questions and building a person. It's kind of creepy. It is a little creepy. It's kind of creepy. Yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. when your spouse comes home from a long day at the office yeah. and shuts himself or herself in a little room? Yeah, well, that's how I heard about it, because the New York Times wrote about this guy who'd come home from the office at the end of the day, and hi, honey, say hello to his wife, and he'd go in his office and sit in his chair in front of his computer and spend the night with his computer. With his, with his girl. With it, creating the girl of his dreams. Yeah. And they said to the wife, did, did you get jealous? Did you get, does this bother you? And she said, well, it's not real. And I thought, kind of is. He's, he's spending hours with whoever this person is that he's creating. You know, I remember a few years ago, a famous woman. Yeah. And I'm not going to tell you what her name is, yeah. but she's very, she's world famous. Okay. And she lives back east. Okay. If I told you where back east, you'd know who it was, so I'm not going to tell you. Right. And she divorced her husband. And one of the reasons for the divorce was that he was spending $3,000 a month visiting porn sites. Oh, that, that would that would be... Um, that was just one of the reasons. Yeah, but that would be like a major reason to say, you know, this just ain't working out. Well, hey, you know what yeah. we did? I told you this, Carolyn. We binged this weekend on The Sopranos. Awesome. We had never seen the uh, fir seen it the first time around. We saw bits and pieces, but never the whole thing. So we watched the whole thing. And wow. last night, um, there's a character, his name is Polly, P-A-U-L-I-E. And he has this uh, identifiable laugh. And he's laughing and laughing and laughing. They cut in. He's watching uh, Three's Company. It was All right. John Ritter and Chrissy Snow are dancing. <laughs> and then I realized, <laughs> I've arrived. I've made it. <laughs> it That's it was, awesome. Yeah, it was fun. That's awesome. Well, I can't bring up uh, our wilderness okay. trip here, no. Oh. No, because I got a lousy phone. Oh, oh, look at his phone. Huh? Show them your, your weedy phone. Okay. How old is that phone? It, it, almost as old as me. <laughs> it's, an I, it's, wow. a, it's an iPhone 5. Okay. I'm sending it to the Marconi Museum. Uh-huh. And they can have it on display. Right. Today's a good day for you to get a new iPhone. Now. That's right. You know what? The, yeah, I, I yeah. do have a new. I have a ten, but I, I, it, it, they changed all the stuff in there. All the what do you call it? Apps. All the software. Mm -hmm. Right. So I asked Dave, our IT person, why do they keep changing this stuff? And he said, Well, it's because oh here, this thing's running now. This is. Can you see this? They change it because they keep making it better. Well, not as far as I'm concerned. Or they overhire, and the nerds have nothing to do, so they go, how about we do this? Well, how about we do that? Yeah, that's what he said. Here we are. What is it? Is this is our wilderness ride on the oh, golf no. cart. Okay. 
I'm just going to say we run a whole business off that little machine. So yeah, I'm just going to say thank you to that phone today. Yeah, yeah. thank you. And and um, do you realize that these things that we all have have literally changed the world? Literally. Um, it used to be that people would wear cameras around their necks. You've always got a camera. That's how we see most of the news. Um, the world is different because of these. How do you feel about that? There are more iPhones in the world than there are people. And there are five or six billion there. people. Yeah. Because a lot of people have two and three iPhones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, when I get a new iPhone, I don't trade in my old one. No, you don't. You never throw out anything. No. Mm. But also, I worry that all my stuff is going to be on there. And they say, yeah, no, it's yeah. not. You can erase it. Yeah, but that's what they say. Yeah. But where does it go when you erase it? Yeah. It has to Can't go somewhere. It? it goes somewhere. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Everything goes somewhere. Right. Right. So this way, I'll have a iPhone history. Oh, I know. Okay. I just love you. <laughs> he's a weirdo. I, I have. He's our weirdo. Your own logic, and there's just no way around it. No. And I, I get it. Yeah. I, I get it. Yeah. You know, yeah. Stick with your five. Yeah. And Annie Waddington said my husband finally got rid of his Neanderthal phone. It was a four. <laughs> a, four. a four. Oh. Oh. Uh, Annie's husband beat you in the Neanderthal. <laughs> 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 That's funny. I get it. Yeah. So Carol Zeising says there are 7 billion people in the world, so there are more than 7 billion iPhones. Wow. Yeah. Not everyone has an iPhone. Wow. No, I mean, no, the, the people that have two and three iPhones, there are over, <laughs> over more iPhones than there are people in the world. What Ray Kurzweil told me, that was such an interesting interview. I got to, I got to know him very well when we became friends, and he actually wrote a blurb for the back of my book, A New Way to Age, uh, which was so generous of him. Anyway, when he was at MIT as a young man, they had the first computer at MIT, uh, Ma Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And he said that that one computer that they had was uh, the size of a city block and several stories high, and that there is more information in this than in that entire building. Imagine. Yeah, and it, I mean, this is what keeps happening. They keep getting smaller and more yeah. powerful. So it is annoying, I get it, like when you finally figure out how to use right. your device, especially if you're not technically um, savvy. That would be And then you get a new one, and yeah. then you go, ah, wait, they changed this layout, and where's this, and where's that? So, But but you do, you do have to keep up as it goes, yep. or else you get left behind. Yeah, that's and, that's true. That's like, that's like, um, I remember well, Paul Ank is a friend of mine, ours, and uh, he's been on the road forever. You want to see a great show? Uh, he has one of the greatest shows. I would say it's the best show. The best show. Yeah. He's been on the road his entire life, and along the way, he has gathered the most impressive, the most incredible uh, artists. Uh, and musicians, and each of them are geniuses with their individual instruments that they uh, have mastered. But anyway, I'm talking to him one day, and I said, what's your email? He said, I don't do email. I said, you don't do email? He said, ah, I have, a, 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 an assistant who does email. I said, if you don't do email, you're out of it. And uh, he wasn't offended or anything, but you are. I mean, you got to stay current with pop culture otherwise you are left behind and you are out of it so yes it's changed the world but um you can't really live without it i mean that's how you're all i'll tell you it. i'll tell you but the amazing thing is that we can all do all, i mean you think about you can get whatever you want from anywhere in the world yeah. now it used to be really special you know if you were someone who got to travel to Europe, you could buy some special yeah, yeah. Italian pottery that no one else could have, and you'd bring it home, and right. it would be like, oh, well, well, I got it in Italy. Yeah. Well, you know, with all the importing, and now you can order anything yeah. anywhere. And, and when I think about the fact that we're in the middle of a pandemic, 
it, it doesn't matter. You could do all your shopping. You just yeah. point and click. If you want organic skincare or supplements, you can go to Suzanne's site. And we have all these great deals going on. If you want things from France or Italy or all the, I mean, wherever in the world you're looking to order. It, I know. And it's and it you is get, amazing the access we have. And often you can get it tomorrow. Not always, but often you can get it tomorrow. You know, my physical therapist, uh, because of my fracture, um, I, I have physical therapy every other day. And I'm improving so much because I am. But do you know where my physical therapist physically is? In Tulum, Mexico. And we do my physical therapy by Zoom. So that's how the world has changed. And he's able to make corrections if I'm not doing the exercises correctly. And it's really quite remarkable what what we have access to. So Yeah, we're all adapting. Yeah. But, you know, we're, yeah. All, we're all doing our best right now. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, what's it like in Los Angeles with the restaurant shut down? You know, we don't go out to eat a lot, so yeah, it's not a, you know it's not a huge deal for us. Um, Can you order takeout? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, we don't. And again, we don't order a ton of takeout, so yeah. But yeah, that's the only thing keeping you know restaurants afloat right now. Yeah. Is, um, you know, I, yeah, I'm not getting political at all, and I feel badly for the tens of thousands of small business people who will never be able to bring their business back. They were probably operating on a very thin margin, if at all, and they're gone. They've lost everything. Hopefully, and, they can recoup. You know, I, I, I have a suggestion, okay? If all the people who tell us what to do had their salary checks canceled for the time they tell us what to do in yeah, terms of... getting a little political. And no, like not political. Is, not political. Yeah, Al. No? Yeah, Al. Yes. That's it's two. Monday. Two today. Canada, what? pornography. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think 20,000. Yeah. Okay, I got another one. Yeah, stop, okay. Al. I got another one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's hard to control. No, but, but I've been, managed to do this for 50 years. So. No, I say, you know what? Stop their paychecks yeah. and I, the shutdowns I, I, won't even happen. I know, I know, I know. They'll say, what? One of the things people love about coming to um, our Facebook Live shows is that it is just a happy place. That's and right. We talk about wellness and health and um, true health. And think how happy those small business people oh, would be. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> um, I, 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 I think that the fact that all of you have, who have so embraced the organic lifestyle says so much about you because um, what we put on our skin makes a difference. It's the food we eat. Uh, we take in toxins through our skin through our GI tract, through the food we eat, and the air we breathe. The air we breathe is the hardest to control, but you can control it in your own house. We live in an indoor-outdoor house, so it's uh, we're quite lucky that we are getting fresh air all the time. But um, you can you can make a huge difference in your healthy lifestyle by embracing organic uh, skin care and cosmetics. Well, Vanda was asking what you recommend for dark spots. Oh, the brightening face. syrup. The brightening syrup. The brightening. Suzanne Organic's brightening Yeah, syrup. that's yeah. great. That's really it's great. It's on the website. Yeah, really great. So That is a great product. Yeah, and I've never... Know, Suzanne's bringing you organic, certified toxic-free, no pegs, no parabens, no artificial colors, no artificial fragrance. Her products are gluten-free, they're made in the USA, and they really work. They really, really, work. really work. First time I ever heard about um, skin brightener was in uh, Shanghai, and um, my ch uh, Chinese girlfriend Yusai Khan has a, a beauty business over there, and um, uh, the Chinese women are very, very conscious of having pure white skin. Her skin is about as beautiful as I've ever seen. Uh, she never, ever, ever goes in the sun, and she uses. 
of brightening serums all the time. And that's where I got the idea to do brightening serum for our line because we all like to be without those horrid age spots. Who knew that that was going to be part of aging? Those horrid age spots. Remember they used to do those... Not with your stuff around. No. They used to do ads in the back of comic books for horrid age spots. That's the first time I ever saw that. I was a little girl. I, was like, I wasn't allowed to read comic books. You weren't allowed to? No. Why? I we couldn't. I couldn't. Have, I didn't have any toys. The only toy I had oh. Oh. was that a, one of one of the roomers <coughs> who lived in our house. Oh. He took a block of wood, and he put two pieces of leather <laughs> on the front of it, like ears of an elephant, and then he put it on roller skates. And I would sit on it, and I would uh, run myself around the house. But no comic books. No. That was your toy. That was my toy. That's pathetic. I know, but Did yeah, there were so many. It? No, yeah, there, we had no Did room. Did you love it? Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I had that elephant today. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Why do they call them liver spots? Why are age spots called liver spots? I don't. I don't, know. I don't I think they're. I don't originates think they're. From I don't think it's from. I don't think it's from a liver. The liver. I th you know, one of our doctors told us what the reason was. Look it up on your cheap phone. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is how we get him to shut up. Give him, give him, a, give him an, a, an assignment. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, you can do that. Okay, I have, yeah. I have to bring up Siri. Yeah. Or maybe I'll just go to Google. Yeah, and just ask her. So, so while Alan is uh, looking that up, um, Suzanne, you can hold up that sign. The, we remind people of promo codes. Two promo codes today. You're going to get 25% off. Where do spots come from? 25% off use promo code CYBERSALE, and it's free shipping inside the continental U.S. Yeah. And it's 30% off if you're ordering over $100 worth of products today, which is pretty easy to do um, on Cyber Monday. And that's promo code CYBER30, also free shipping. At SuzanneSummers.com. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here it is. Okay. Here's okay. the answer, ladies and gentlemen. They call them age spots. Are caused by overactive pigment cells. Ultraviolet light speeds up the production of melanin, 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 a natural pigment that gives skin its color. On skin that has had years of sun exposure, that's me, age spots appear when melanin becomes clumped or is produced in high concentrations. I'm clumping. So How let's, many of you out there are clumping? We should call them clump, clump spots. <laughs> clump spots. <laughs> but, it, it, but it didn't say anything about the liver. No. So yeah, uh, why is it liver? That's, that's, we're wondering why is it. Yeah. Why does, Right. Okay, well, here's okay. So here's the next one. Okay. It's from the Mayo Clinic. Yeah. Uh, age spots, liver spots, symptoms and causes. Okay. So they're calling wow. them. They're calling them liver spots. Okay. This is yeah. Okay. All right. This is from. This is big time. Age spots are small, flat, dark areas on the skin. They vary in size and usually appear on areas exposed to the sun. Blah 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 blah. Age spots are also called sunspots liver spots, and solar lent lentigenes. Lent oh, lent I got it, Carol. Okay. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. The and spot, liver spots, the spots derive their name from the fact that they were once incorrectly believed to be caused by liver problems. Incorrect. They are physiologically unrelated to the liver, oh. save for a similar color. Oh. Your explanation on your little phone was much more succinct. Yeah. That's because I have an iPhone 5. Yeah. And yours, if I had the 10 or the 12 or the 11 or whatever, yeah. Yeah. we got what, you know, what Caroline read. What kind of phone do you have, Caroline? The best it's not the three. phone. It's just what I looked up. Oh. Know. Oh. So it was just the... I th see, I think it's, it's the just, phone. We just yeah. looked up different things. You were looking at what they are, and right. I was just looking at why they are sometimes called liver spots. Well, it's such a beautiful day here in the desert. In the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. It's um, sunny and crisp, um, sweater weather, and maybe uh, we have to go out in a little bit, and I probably will grab a shawl because it's, it's, it's a bit nippy out, and um, it's always fun to be with all of you. When are we together next, Caroline?
I think I, I think I think we're doing shows Thursday and Friday, right? That sounds right. I think that's it. Uh, yeah. But anyway, happy shopping, everyone. Wait a minute. Tomorrow is Tuesday. It's not tomorrow. I know we don't have a show tomorrow, but I'll we don't. Post it. I've got it on my calendar here. Uh, uh, looks like. By the way, oh, speak yeah. okay, speaking of, uh, it's a nice day in the neighborhood. Yeah. Fred Rogers. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Rogers. Yeah. And I both started our uh, television careers at the same time. Both of them Isn't started. Isn't he 200 years old? Pardon me? Isn't he 200 years old? I, I don't know. He passed away, oh. I don't know, a couple of years ago. I don't think he was much older than me. And uh, his, he was in Studio 2 and I was in Studio 1. Across the hall in Canada, Canada. In Canada. Uh -huh. and we talk every day. And it was the nicest human being on it the sure planet. Nice. And then when he moved to the states and started doing a show on PBS, somebody who uh, knew him as well, not as well as I did, said that he was a sniper during Vietnam, and he was he was decorated. Boy, does that not? I happen? know, I know. I don't that even know if it's true. Happen. It sounds like a crazy idea. I know. I know. Yeah, if anybody knows, let us know. Okay. But Mr. Rogers was the real deal. Okay. He was that way off camera, too. Hold up your sign. Okay. Here's my sign. This is it. Okay. Okay, but before you sign off, yeah. I'm hearing, I thought you were going to be in L.A. tomorrow, but I'm hearing that you're not going to be in L.A. tomorrow, which no, means... No, I'm, I'm in L.A. on Wednesday. Oh, okay. So we are doing a show tomorrow, and okay. it is the Suzanne Selects Reveal for oh, oh. So tomorrow, five o'clock. Oh, that's a good way to start off your, Chris, your Christmas shopping, yeah. And we'll be drinking real tequila. How fun is that? Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Well, great talking to you, Caroline, and great- You too, I love you guys. Great talking to all of you out there. Thanks for coming, and let's see you tomorrow night at five o'clock, California time, eight o'clock back east. Bye. And by the way, love folks, you yeah. thank you all for the lovely things you said about me. <laughs> Most of the time, people don't say nice things about me. Oh, so it was a pleasure. It was really a pleasure. And I've recorded all of them, and I'm going to put them on a video loop okay, and put it on my iPhone 5. Great. And whenever I'm really feeling da feeling bad or feeling yeah. down, uh -huh. I'll just keep playing it okay. back and over Did all around. those compliments create the bad boy that you um, No, today? no, I don't think I was a bad boy. A bit. If you were reading all the things that I read here uh -huh. from people, a lot of people agreed with me. Oh. Yeah. And a lot of people said it's hard to do business if you're not alive. <laughs> that was the other side. And then there's that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't so get it's it. Size, but again, we just try to avoid that stuff on our shows. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just talk about fun things. Yeah. 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 Life is to be enjoyed. Enjoy each day. Okay. So, okay. Bridget Drawhorn says the thing about uh, Fred Rogers is not so. Oh. Okay. There you go. Love you guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Five o'clock.